Hi, Gavin here. My website's hickorygolf.co.uk. I thought I'd do a short video to show these clubs um, that I've been renovating recently. So these are forgans and they tended to use this cleek mark here, which is the flag in the hole. So actually this set is, uh, a lot of them are branded with the forgan name but one or two I've just got the, the clique mark uh, the same and then different uh, professional names on there. I just thought I'd, I'd give a quick run through. So first we have an iron that's got a number one on it. And also it's worth saying when it comes to hickory clubs that um, a one iron or a five iron or whatever is not the same loft as today's irons. So I measured this one iron and it's got a loft of 22 degrees. Um, so that's probably like uh, today's um, three iron, probably. Um, and a swing weight of C2. So mo modern clubs have a swing weight of about D2. So it's slightly lighter than a modern iron. So we've got a one iron. And I'll just show that there. Then we've got a two iron, which is a loft of 26 degrees. So we've gone from 22 to 26. Then we've got a three iron. And you can see that's one without the forgan name, but it's got the uh, flag in hole cleek mark. Um, it certainly was made in the same forge. So that is 30 degrees. Then we've got a four iron. And the other thing with this set is they all have lined faces. What you tend to find with hickories is um, generally, certainly by the late 1920s, they either had dots or lines, but these ones are all line faces. So that's your four iron at uh, 34 degrees, slightly heavier swing weight. The first three irons came in at C2, that one comes in at C4. Then we go to a mashi, um, which a lot of people know, um, particularly older golfers will say, oh, a mashi is a five iron. Well, it was a five iron in the Hickory era. It was the fifth iron in the set. And in fact, this one is stamped both five and mashy. But again, it's more like uh, today's seven iron, uh, probably is the closest, and that is uh, 38 degrees loft and a swing weight of C8. So again, just slightly heavier. Moving on from the mashy, you've got a mashy niblick, and that's 43 degrees. So that's probably more like, um, well, a modern nine or even a, a pitching wedge. And then a niblick, which is at 50 degrees. Nice big head on that, big face. And that's now getting um, up to a swing weight of D1. And then finally a putter. And one thing you'll also see on some putters, but it's not happens to be on this one, is um, in some of these late 1920s, early 1930s, real tail end of the Hickory era, um, some of the putters have got nine or ten on them. And um, a lot of people say, oh, I've got, what, what does this ten mean? And it was just that, you know, there was ten clubs in that set. Um, and that was the 10th club. Um, also, some of these match sets, uh, people like Forgan or Gibsons or Nichols, sometimes they'd sell a set of seven clubs or eight clubs or nine clubs or 10 clubs. So actually, sometimes the putters might be, a, I have even seen putters stamped number eight. I've certainly seen putters stamp number nine, which is quite common, and then number 10, which was, I think that sometimes uh, to make a 10 club set, the extra one they had in there was a jigger that is about a modern six, sort of comes in at about the number sixth. So there we are. That's just a quick run through 
of these Forgan irons. Um, I have been out and um, had a hit with them and they're, they're very nice and um, hopefully they'll um, they'll go to somewhere some new owner in the world who will be very pleased with them. Anyway thanks for watching um, please press the like or subscribe button and uh, you'll get notified when I upload some new uh, videos and if you have any questions please drop me a line at info at timewarpgolf.com. Thanks bye!